Hi everyone, this is Anne. This video is going to be my updated nighttime skincare routine. And I just did my updated morning skincare routine along with a full face makeup get ready with me, which I'll go ahead and link that video beneath this one down in the description box in case you're interested in taking a look at that. I have five main ingredients that I look for in anti-aging skincare, and I think that these five ingredients are extremely important for anti-aging the skin, and four of the five ingredients I use in my nighttime routine, and then two of the five I use in my morning routine. And as always, I'll link all the products that I show or talk about down in the description box and I'll provide links so in case you want to read more about a certain product you can. I have one or two new videos each week so if you're not already subscribed to my channel and you like the content of my videos please be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. My first step in my nighttime skincare routine is to remove my makeup and cleanse my face. And my very favorite product to use is a cleansing oil, and this is a drugstore product. It's by Palmer's, and this is their Skin Therapy Cleansing Oil. It has grapeseed, jojoba, rose hip, and vitamin C in it, and it is for all skin types. I just take a pump or two, put it in the palm of my hand, and apply it all over my face and my neck and including over my eye area. And then I put a little bit more on a cotton pad and just remove my mascara with that. And then I take a washcloth and I get warm water on it and just gently wipe off my face and my neck including over my eyes to remove all the excess oil or makeup. And then after I've removed my makeup and cleansed my face, if it's a night that I use my derma roller, this is when I would go ahead and use my derma roller. And I have two that I like to use. I have a smaller 0.25 millimeter that I use about three times a week. And then I have a slightly larger, larger 0.5 millimeter that I use about once every week to two weeks. And I've done a lot of videos on how I derma roll, which I'll go ahead and link beneath this video in case you're interested in watching those. But whether I derma roll or not, I follow the same skincare routine. And then my first anti-aging product that I apply in my skincare routine is a growth factor. And I've been using one lately by Peter Thomas Roth, and I really love this. It smooths out nicely and growth factors are great for stimulating new cell growth. They stimulate new collagen and they work really well with other skincare products. So I like to apply this as my very first product on and it does, it's like a serum, it does soak in nicely and it spreads out very nicely. So I just use about one pump on my neck and one pump on my entire face. And I do bring this product around my eye area as well. And then after I apply my growth factor, I go ahead and apply my antioxidants. And I recently did a video on antioxidants, which again, I'll link beneath this video in case you're interested in watching it. But I apply antioxidants at nighttime and in the daytime. And at nighttime, they help to undo the damage that has been caused to the cells. And they also work better when they're used together. So I apply two. I have a green tea product and then I also have a vitamin C. And this one is kind of an oil. It's a new one that I just started using and I use this one at nighttime. And then I have a different one that I really like to use during the daytime because it works so well under makeup. And that's in my daytime routine, which again, I'll link beneath this video. But I'll go ahead and apply both of my antioxidants as my next step in my skincare routine at night. And then after I apply my antioxidant, I like to go in with a vitamin A derived product. And this can be a retin A, a retinaldehyde, or a retinol product. 
and retinols and retinaldehydes you can buy over the counter and the difference between these two is a retinaldehyde takes your body one conversion step to turn it into retinoic acid which is what retin-a is and a retinol product requires your body two conversion steps to turn it into retinoic acid but these are going to be a little bit more gentle on your skin than a retin-a would be but Retin-A is also a prescription med medication here in the States. And I have one that is more emollient. It's called Refisa. And so this is a little bit more gentle than the regular Retin-A creams or gels. And I still have to mix mine with a little bit of my Benigma cream just to cut out any irritation because I do kind of get irritated from Retin-A. So I apply equal amounts of my Retin-A and my Benigma on nights that I use my Retin-A and just mix it in the palm of my hand and apply it to my face and my neck. But on other nights, because I do have all these products, I do kind of switch them around just so that I'm using them all up. And I just apply either my Retin-A, Retinaldehyde, or Retinol to my neck, my face, my chest, and the backs of my hands every night. And then my last key ingredient in my nighttime skincare routine is the use of an alpha hydroxy cream. And I have a couple that I like to use depending on if I have used my derma roller that night or if I haven't. And if I have used my derma roller, I go in with a very gentle alpha hydroxy cream which has donkey milk in it. And this actually has lactic acid and this is a very gentle product. It does not have the sting to it. So I like to use this on nights that I have used my derma roller. And then on nights that I have not used my derma roller, I just use my product from Walgreens and this is their store brand alpha hydroxy acid this does have a slight tingle to it and alpha hydroxy acids just help to remove that top dead layer of skin cells so your vitamin A derived products are going to help stimulate new collagen and cell turnover and then your alpha hydroxy products are going to help remove that top dead layer of skin and then this is the point that I go ahead and apply a treatment product. And right now I'm using one by Nivea, and this is their Concentrate Serum. I've done several videos on this, which again, I'll link beneath this video in case you're interested in watching those. This is the product that I used on my under eye bags four years ago that completely got rid of my under eye bags from using it every night for two to three months. Currently, I'm using it on my upper eyelids, and I just apply a tiny, tiny bit to my pinkies, rub my pinkies together, and then apply it to my upper lids. And I've been doing this for the last three weeks, and it has already greatly improved the look of my upper eyelids. And especially this inner little fatty area that I had on my upper eyelids. And then nightly for my lips, I like to apply my Lansino Lanolin Ointment. And this is actually a product for nursing mothers, but it does a great job at healing dry, cracked lips. So I just apply a generous amount of this all over my lips at night, right before I go to bed. And I have not had chap lips since I started using this product. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I use for my nighttime skincare routine. If you've used any of these products, please comment below and share your thoughts on them. Thanks so much for watching.